You know, when you talk about what do lawyers become known for, you know, people will look at you and they'll think of something. They'll think of a case that you've done or they'll equate a word to you or the way you consistently behave brings an image to mind. You know, I was very, very grateful. My very first job was actually in K Road and it was for a Samoan practitioner who um, had a very big practice that practiced a whole range of different types of law. Whatever came in the door, I had to learn what that was about. I literally just earned enough to pay for my $50 bus pass to come to work from Mangere to K Road every day. And that's what I did. And I did it for two years. But the solid grounding was really priceless. Just about every other case was on a pro bono basis. It was amazing. That's what's guided my practice. Um, really right from the beginning and, 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 and in many respects it's actually how I practice today. I've had the privilege of representing families, of understanding their issues, of knowing what their struggles are and I've had the challenges of advocating for them against systems, against government systems. So the first you know, 40 years was really about building my career. And then you think, what do I do with this knowledge now? And I say, I want to use that knowledge to actually now try and improve systems. Every one of us serves a different purpose, and you've got to be really comfortable about understanding what your purpose might be. So I find that the purpose of why I get to sit at some of those boards is actually to bring the everyday experience uh, of, of the average man. So I'm not a token person sitting at a board. It's about, you know, if I want to make a real difference to, to, to a particular sector of society, how am I presenting their case? What's the persuasive argument that I'm putting forward? Whilst law school doesn't necessarily prepare you for the real world, the tools that we can learn at law school uh, can be incredibly useful and it's how you use those tools to actually for advance and advocate for, you know, for, for, for different cohorts of society. That's, that's exciting, that's what can, can make a difference and I think that's where you can actually influence change.